Hey boys and girls, it's almost St. Patrick's Day and I have another St. Patrick's Day story for you. And it just so happens to be called the night before St. Patrick's Day. Because today, that's what it is, the night before St. Patrick's Day. Because tomorrow will be St. Patrick's Day. And this story is about things that might happen the night before St. Patrick's Day. And it might remind you of a Christmas story that you've heard before. You know, twas the night before Christmas. Well, twas the night before St. Patrick's, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring, except Tim and Maureen. Happy St. Patrick's Day. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun, they love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legends told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. They're trying to set a leprechaun trap to trap him, get his gold. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. Look at all those cool different traps they made to try and catch that crazy little leprechaun. You think they'll catch him? You think you would catch him? The children then nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. They're like, please, we want to catch the leprechaun. We want to find his pot of gold. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Dad, said early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed and the old Irish song. These are called bagpipes. It's an instrument to play music on. They're actually very, very gorgeous sounding. Mom dished out the green eggs and sang loudly along. They're singing Irish songs now. <laughs> when from their bedroom there arose such a clatter. The kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? <sighs> Who is it? Who is it? Is it the leprechaun? Oh dear. Ah, just a terrible mess. Cause a leprechaun was here. Look at the terrible mess. Oh no. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. <gasps> look at the muddy footprints. You see them on the floor? they'll catch him which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door <gasps> and then inside a trap they heard something giggling a real live leprechaun they both saw him wriggling <gasps> his eyes how they twinkled his body so tiny his hands clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy size clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your 
backyard. <gasps> oh, I hope they find it. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. All the rocks were smooth and had black X's on them. Oh. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you. And better luck next year. Happy reading.